so kids, this week is going to be fun, fun, fun. I've got a unicorn pom-pom keychain and a shark pom-pom keychain. I'm going to show you how to make them. Who is going to battle this one out, the shark or the unicorn? Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. Okay, so kids, in order to make this fantastic unicorn pom-pom keychain, you're going to need seven inch circle of faux fur. I love this colorful one. The rainbows are really fun. Um, some vinyl fabric, about a six inch by six inch square will do. Uh, we'll need some Mod Podge, some fabric tacky glue, some sparkles, glitter, acrylic paint, needle and thread, brush for the glue, a vanishing fabric eraser, I'll show you more about that in a minute, a Sharpie marker, fine tip, ruler, and the keychain mechanism, and enough batting to make a nice big snowball. And of course, you'll need to download the printable. The link is in the description below. We have the unicorn pom-pom keychain template and the shark template. I've also included the circle pattern for the pom-pom. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with the printout that we have here. And I'm just gonna quickly cut out the unicorn and the shark. Now the circle I don't need, so I'm just gonna set that aside. What I am gonna do is, I've just got a piece of cardboard here from a Kleenex box, and I'm just gonna glue these onto the cardboard just so that when I'm tracing it, it'll be a lot stronger edge than just paper. So you don't have to do this step, I just find that it's a lot easier to, um, to give you a strong pattern to work with. You can wait for it to dry, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it. So try and cut it on the line and do your best to uh, make it nice and smooth. If you make a mistake, you can always print out another copy and try again. And there we've got the shark and the unicorn. Now we just need the shark's fins. Okay, so when we make this shark, we're actually gonna put a hole through, through his side. So I'm just gonna show you real quick what that look like. And our shark fin will go through there like that. Isn't that cute? <laughs> So now that we've got that done, we're just gonna go ahead and cut out our circle for our pom-pom. Now you don't need to print this page out. You can always measure a seven inch circle, but this just makes it a little bit easier if you need the extra help. Okay, here we go. We've got our circle for our pom-pom. We've got our shark ready to go with his extra fins. And we've got the unicorn. Let's start off with the unicorn. Okay, I've just cut out a piece of fabric to make this a little bit more manageable. I've got my unicorn ready and I'm just going to use either a pen or a pencil but in this case I happen to have this um, marker which disappears so it, it's actually kind of handy so I'm going to use that today in case I make any mistakes the marker will not show up later. Okay, I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to Fold it in half. I'm going to place my shark on here and then I'll also do my unicorn. So because I'm drawing on the face side of the fabric, I don't want to make any mistakes or make a mess. So I'm using this special marker which is a disappearing marker. So if I, when I'm done, I can just clean off the lines. Rather than using a sharpie that will be there forever. Okay, so I'm just making sure that I've got fabric on both sides. This is a cut piece here, so I can feel the edges right there. So this is perfect. I'm just gonna shift it a little bit to give myself some more room. Just gonna go and trace all the way around. Okay, and I've got that. So the unicorn, I'm gonna fit that in nice and tight right here. And again, trace all the way around. This is a small unicorn, so if you wanted, you could enlarge the unicorn pattern a little bit so that you have a larger shape to cut out. 
and it would still work with the seven inch pom-pom. Okay, and just here where it gets a little bit tight, I'm just gonna draw that line there so I know where to cut. Okay. So now I have my two shapes traced out. I can fit the, the fin. Okay, so now we have the fin, the unicorn, and the shark ready. Like I said, I've got it traced out on one side, but once I fold it and line up the edge, I will have one on each side. Before I cut this out, in order to make this easier, I'm going to sew on top of the line of each, and then I can cut it out. Okay, so I've got my shapes traced out. I'm just going to line this up, and I'm going to do just a quick stitch to hold this in place. So I've just got that stitch to hold it in place and then I'm going to do another one right in between. Now I'm just going to do one right at the end. So now that I've got those three rows done, that's just to help me get everything in position and without having anything slip away on me. Now I'm just going to trace over those lines carefully. It's going to be a little bit of work but it'll be worth it in the end. So I would recommend starting at this point here because you're not gonna see this. We're gonna tie this in. Start here and go all the way around and, and end here. Start here, go all the way around. This way you can hide your overlapping stitches. So there you go, I've got it all, traced all the way around. Now I'm going to do it for the unicorn and the fin. There we go, the unicorn is stitched up, now the fin. This is a very good exercise to practice your sewing skills. And there you go. We've got our three pieces traced out. Now we just need to cut them out. Okay, here we go. We've got everything traced out. Now I'm just going to cut just outside the line that I sewed. Try make it as smooth as you can. Be sure not to cut inside your thread. Keep it on the outside. By doing it this way, we were able to have a very clean, finished edge. If you tried to put these two pieces together and then sew them, you would never get this nice, clean edge. So this gives us a chance to have everything nice and even and very clean. Okay, so I think I'm really nice and smooth here. I'm just gonna trim this point just a little bit better. And I'd say that's a pretty good looking shark. So let's put that down for now, right here. Let's go for the unicorn. So again, you're gonna start close to your line, but very carefully, not cutting anything. Okay, so here's our unicorn. I'm just going to clean up some of these areas here where I didn't go in so tight. Okay, so that looks really good. Now, the one thing that I didn't do is cut into this little groove here. So that, depending on how good of a job you did sewing, you could keep it just plain. Um, but I'm going to just snip in just a little bit to show that there is an indent there for the the hair. So just like that.
where you can just see that it goes in and around. So we've just got the fin left here. Let's just do that quickly. That's the fin. So we'll keep the shark to the side for later and we'll work on the unicorn. So the first thing we're going to do is take this marker that I, I uh, told you we could use and we're just going to erase all that purple line. And it'll look like it was never there in the first place. Now had we used a pencil or a marker, we wouldn't be able to do this. So this is a handy little tool. Next thing we're going to do is take a look at our pattern. We want to be able to make all this section sparkles. I actually printed out another copy of the template so that I could use this as a guideline. And I'm just going to cut along the dividing line that shows the unicorn and the sparkly hair. I'm going to use that as my guideline. I'm going to take my vanishing fabric marker and I'm just going to trace along. And that's just going to give me the outline of where I need to put my glue. My eye is here and we have a little mouth there. So now, the fun part. So I'm using tacky fabric glue, and I'm just gonna glue it all around where I've outlined. You don't have to go all the way to the bottom. I just go just halfway and square that off. That's not gonna show, that'll be in the pom-pom. I think I'm pretty good there. I'm gonna just smooth out some of this glue as well. I don't want it too clumpy and I want to make sure I got it everywhere, right to the tips. Okay, we got most of that covered. Looks a little bit messy, but it'll start to come clean once we start shaking off the layers. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. We're just going to Take a dry brush and just smooth off the edges. Make sure that the shape is what you want. It looks pretty good. Okay. And take off any extra sparkles. And we're just going to get ready to Mod Podge this one. Okay, so I've got it all cleared up. I'm just going to get rid of some of this glue. That's just overlapped too much. I'm just going to push it towards the edge. There you go. This one's ready to set aside. Now we're going to take the shark. We've got our shark here and the fin. Again, we're going to go around and just clean off any of the purple marker. Okay, so we're just going to put this in place. Again, you could cut an extra shark out and just go on the line so that you can see where you want to place this line. And just above that, we want to make a slash here. So here, I'm going to fold this in half. This is very delicate, so you just have to do a small little cut. Okay. And we're going to take our fin and we're going to fit it in and see if it works. So we 
we've got our shark with our fin. How adorable. So one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make that line there so you know that that's the center. I'm gonna just take this out because we don't need it just yet. And I'm gonna do just a little tiny fold right there, a little tiny triangle cut. Just a tiny one. And on this side, just a tiny triangle cut. So when I put it back in, it'll just want to pop into place. Now if we wanted to, we could sew that into place, but I think we're probably good just as is right now. Uh, we could always put a dab of glue if we need to, but let's just see how it goes. So let's take a look and see what we can do to make this shark look even better. So today I'm working with white vinyl um, because that's what I have. If you're working with the shark, you can certainly get a gray vinyl or a blue vinyl, or you can do like I'm going to do and you can paint your own and add sparkles and glitter to make a customized shark. I'll show you how to do that. So here's the final shark. I've painted blue and gray and added sparkles to it. If you'd like to see the full tutorial on how I painted this, click the link above. So for the pom-pom, you're gonna want any kind of faux fur. We've chosen this one that's got the rainbow colors because it's lots of fun. But any one you like is good. So we're gonna flip it over and you're gonna take your circle that you cut out from the template and you're just gonna place it down. Go ahead and use a felt marker or a pencil to trace around. Okay, and there you go. And I'm gonna show you how to cut it. When you're cutting faux fur, you don't want to cut all the way through like that. You see how if you're cutting, you're gonna cut all the hair and you'll lose a lot of the detail. So what we wanna do is we wanna do little tiny cuts that goes in between the fur, okay? I'll show you from the, uh, the back side. It's much easier to see. You're gonna take and just do a tiny little snip, tiny little snip. No big cuts like that because you'll cut all the hair. So just a tiny little snip, tiny snip, Tiny snip. And you're only just putting the tip of your scissors underneath. So when I do that, and I take these two pieces and I pull them away, see how I didn't cut any of the hair? I just separated the fabric. So we're gonna do that throughout. Turn it around and just do tiny cuts. And I'm pulling that apart. I haven't cut any of the hair. So now pull that apart. You can see I didn't cut any of the hair. It's all there. This is one of the best ways to cut faux fur to make sure that you've got it all intact. And there we go. We've got our circle perfectly cut. And we've got all our extra hair. This has a nap going in one direction, but that's okay. Once we sew it all up, it's going to become our pom-pom. How fantastic is that? Hey, I've got myself some red thread here so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go into the side here, and I'm gonna go in and out, in and out, in and out, so that I just make a plain stitch. Okay, you see that? I'm gonna do that all the way around. When I get back to here, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so here we go. We've sewn all the way around, and I'll show you the reason why. So we're just doing a nice loose stitch like this so that we can slowly just pull the tension on here. And as I pull it, it'll start to make a bowl. And that will create the pom-pom. But before we do that, I just want to show you another quick step. While it's nice and open like this, we're going to get the unicorn and we're just going to tether her to the base so that later on when we're sewing, we don't have to worry about how much uh, she's attached or not. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. So on the template, we had a little dot here at the bottom. And that was just to represent that we need to put a hole here. So it doesn't have to be anywhere specific, but just kind of in that area. And we're gonna find something um, sharp 
to poke it through. So I'm just going to use the tip of my scissors here and I'm just going to make a little hole. Just by twisting it around so long I can get a needle through it, that's all it needs to be. So I'm just going to try that out. Perfect. Just enough to get my needle through, that's all. It makes it easier when you're sewing. Okay. So I'm just going to thread up another needle because I'm still using this one. You could do this step before and only use one needle, but I wanted to show you both together. Okay. I got a nice knot in there. And we're going to take we're going to take the center. So all part the center. We're just going to go in a little bit. Again, trying to make all nice and tight there. I'm going to do a couple of times. Now, what we're doing is you, you can't see through this side because we're just going just beneath the fur, making sure just to create an anchor point for the unicorn or the shark. So, one thing I want to do is make sure that. By the time this gets rolled up into a pom-pom, I want to make sure that she's sitting about this position. So I know that in order for that to happen, she needs to be tethered about close to two inches from the bottom. I'm going to take a seam gauge and I'm just going to measure two inches. Okay? That's going to give us a position like that. So I want to make sure that her sparkle is about there, so I'm going to drop that measurement down to about an inch and a half for the thread. So this is what we're going to do here. So I'm going to make sure she's positioned this far away. Put that through the hole there. So we just want to keep this in mind for a position like that. Okay, so now that I measured that, I can just keep that steady like that. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick loop through. So that I can have an anchor. So once that comes up, she'll get all tucked in like that. Okay, so I'm going to sew a couple of times around here. Okay, so that should be nice and strong. And we're just going to do loop. I'm going to tether it to the bottom. So it doesn't matter how it looks, it just needs to uh, get tethered in. This way, when you're closing it up, it'll be much easier for you. Now, if you have a hard time sewing through the fabric or the vinyl, you can always put a thimble on so that when you're pushing through, you can help to push fabric and your finger will still be protected, okay? So I think we're good there. I'm just gonna trim that. So now we have the unicorn tethered in the middle so that when we're pulling later on, we know what position she needs to be sitting at, okay? So I'm gonna slowly gather she can just tuck inside for now. I'm going to slowly gather the edges. I'm going to pull and scooch. Pull and scooch. Pull and scooch. And as this happens, I'm rotating around to make sure that I'm making a bowl right here. And then once it starts to look kind of like a pom pom, nice and close, so she's almost ready. So when she's tethered, she's, if I pull, if I hold on the bottom and I pull her, See how she's perfectly positioned? You can just see her sparkles finishing there. So once we sew her in, it's going to be the right position. So that tether worked really well. So I'm just going to open this up just a touch. And we're going to put the batting in. So we just take a little bit of batting, tuck it behind here, push it in there. Take a little bit more, put it to the front. 
kind of looks like a unicorn taking a bubble bath. Okay, and you want to make sure you swish it over to the sides. Probably use a little bit more in this corner here. Okay. I'm going to take that thread again and then start to close it up. I'm making sure that my batting is well tucked in. see it so you just want to tuck it underneath. Okay. And we're going to pull this up to our tether point. See now we pulled it we know exactly where it needs to be. Okay so we're good here. I'm going to take this here and I'm going to put a loop through so that I can start getting it secured. And wherever you get any of the hair caught, just before you pull it too tight, just pick it out. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew pom-pom closed. Just like that, back and forth, back and forth. I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to go through that hole and come back and grab this side. You see that? So then we'll pull here and we'll push back through again. Going through vinyl and back through here. Now you could use a glue gun at this point and glue it closed, but sewing it's going to last a little bit longer. You could do a combination of the two if you'd like. So I'm just going through here. Pull it tight. And then find another edge to secure. So I've got pretty much everything closed here. See just that little opening? So I'm going to take a piece of that there. So we're sewing a little bit more on the flat side than the circle side because our unicorn's flat. Now you might not use red thread, you might use something that matches better, but I just want you to see better here. Okay, so we've got this side. Now I'm going to just work my way to the other side. I'm going to scoop underneath. up in the middle. Again, making sure I don't get any of the hair before I pull it down and clear that way. Okay. I'm just going to close up this section here now. I'm going to go under and pop it out on this edge here. straight through the vinyl. Again, if you have a hard time pushing through, you can always put your finger and have it push through up against the thimble. And then you're going to catch this side as well. Okay. 
So now we're almost done. I'm just closing this last little bit here. Just gonna crisscross it around. through the back. And once I'm in the back here, I'm just going to come in here and make a, a knot. that last little bit of thread. Come in here. Careful not to cut your fur. Okay, and there we go. We've got our pom pom unicorn. Okay, so I'm ready now to put the shark inside its pom pom. And here we have our shark pom-pom. How adorable. Just got to get ready to put the keychain mechanism on. Well, hello there shark. Hello there unicorn. Are you ready for your keychain? Oh yes. Let's do it. Okay, so we're ready to get our keychains on. And we just have to find a position. So I've got a silver one here for the shark and I've got kind of a golden rose gold for the unicorn. I think that'll be a great match. So I'm just gonna set these aside for a moment. So for the unicorn, we're going to pierce a hole through the ear. It's going to be a bit tricky, but we're going to do it. First, I'm going to start with just a point. Okay. Be sure that you've waited long enough for your glitter to dry. You can always fix it if it uh, gets smushed up. So now we have a hole here. You may need an adult to help you with this. You're going to need to be able to pry open the loop here. See how there's a break right there? I'm going to put this in here just so I have something to hold on to. And I'm going to just pry open the ring. See how it just opened the ring there? And then I'm going to feed that through. Just need to be able to loop it through that hole. This is probably the hardest part of the project. You'll need help to get the keychain loop on. But if you don't have a keychain loop, you could always just sew a strap onto your unicorn or shark. That makes it a little bit easier. So now that I've got it fed through, can you see that? It's gone through both sides. Take your keychain and tuck it on there but it's hanging and now we need to close it back up just give it a good squeeze and good squeeze both ways okay and there we go we've got it now I didn't let my glue dry long enough so I uh, squished a couple of my sparkles but I can go back and fix that so that's not a problem. Now let's do the shark. Okay so for the shark we're gonna put the keychain right here just under his nose I guess you'd say. So we're just gonna pierce again another hole. Okay and I'm just gonna just poke it through. So right about there. Okay, we've got it fed through. See how that's gone through? It's 
like he's got a nose ring. <laughs> okay, and we're just going to loop in the keychain, take the pliers back, and then close it off. And there you go. We've got our shark keychain. How fantastic is that? Here are our finished keychains. Okay, so we've had a lot of fun making these pom-pom keychains. We've got unicorns, all different colors. We've got some sharks. Uh, it's been lots of fun. I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I did. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this.